we're good. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the Beer Dow stream today on the 24th of October 2022. I hope you're having a wonderful week and a fantabulous week ahead. Unless you don't have fantabulous weeks, in which case I hope you have the week you want. There you go. Put the power in the viewer's hands. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, the update on the coughing situation, I guess. Uh, for the context, two weeks ago, I think I just got hit hard with laryngitis. No voice two weeks ago. Last week, feeling pretty good, but I had a bit of a tickly cough. This week, it's mostly good, but I have those, like, rare occasions where I'm just like, oh, it's there. You gotta just kind of like, Pfft. but we're pretty good. We're pretty good otherwise, so I'm feeling ready to do silly voices and the such. Um, uh, the top range of the voice is really getting there. I gotta kind of work on it a little bit, but uh, the whole singing range is pretty much there now, so that's all good. Uh, so let's hop into uh, the game before the music loops as well. So let's go for it. Look at that, easy. Uh, but yeah, no, play more Resident Evil yet again. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna beat it this stream or it's a next stream thing. Not too sure, we'll see. Uh, I know it's not too long of a game, but, uh, and, and I guess at this rate, we'll leave it as one playthrough. We're not gonna do the second character. Um, I'll, I'll keep it relatively simple, uh, even though I guess there's more to see. There's definitely more routes and stuff. I know that you can take, you can get characters to live or not, not live, up to you, but this is a blind playthrough I shall have have my fun in doing uh, my own way of, of going about things. Uh, I have my hydration apparatus. So feel free to hear me swishing around water in my mouth for a few minutes. Other than that, uh, in the last stream for the game, uh, I fought a giant snake, then I walked out into the gardens, shot a lot of puppies, walked out into a shed, uh, got hugged by a plant on the face, on the neck, it happens. And then I shot a giant plant. Also, there were big spiders. Then I walked back, and then there were some hugging monsters. You have once again entered the world of survival horror. Um, good luck. And uh, all I know is, uh, if we can refer back to the map, uh, is that I've walked in through that kind of route. I've walked kind of around the snaky bits and all I know now is that I have this key, the mansion key, which it's for the mansion. Oh, carving of a helmet. Maybe I should have seen that one earlier. I was, I, I, I knew I was like, oh, okay. So now I've basically got to go into rooms I never went into before. So, we definitely got the one on the left. Uh, got two on the right, including the room literally at the beginning I didn't go into. And I wonder if that's going to bite me by not going into that room right away. Maybe. On the upper floor, there's clearly a lot of stuff on the upper left. Nothing on the upper right, though. Nothing at all. So, uh, I guess the question is, do I go right... Let's go right. Actually, no, that's a locked door. It's not even, it doesn't even say there's a, there's a key on it. Uh, also check my ammo. Seven shotgun, five. Oh, okay, cool. So, yeah. Uh, obvious topic for the week is more tech. I know I've been talking about a lot of tech pretty much for the past few weeks. I promise this is probably going to be the last one for a while. Because, oh, until AMD announced stuff in two weeks. Graphics cards. Oh gosh, there he is. Hi. Oh, there's two of them! There's two of them! Oh my gosh. And I just walked into another room. There's two of them. Um, is this suddenly like difficulty spike time? Was X the shoot button again? <laughs> I completely blanked. Hold on, legit, let's walk up here. No, X is the shoot button. Yeah. Cool. I'm, I'm mashing the shoot button. Wow, that's a sound. I'm mashing the shoot button. It ain't doing it. Wow. 
I didn't die at all last stream. This stream, literally, first hallway. These guys mean serious business, apparently. Uh, cool. Time to suffer. Time to suffer stream. Uh, but, yeah, while well, we're at it, let's just get it out of the way. So, tech, tech, uh, stuff, uh, Intel CPUs have released. Um, the general consensus is, uh, they're surprisingly good. Really, out of the box, they come, uh, the, the 13900K, the top-end CPU, which is about, um, 1020 Australian. It's actually pretty good compared to the 1169 for the 7950X, um, it's 1100 if you wanted the, uh, the Intel one with the graphics chip in it, but a lot of people don't. Alright, how about let's just run past him. You can't run past him. And <laughs> there's no point going that way. And that one's locked from the inside, so I've kind of screwed myself over on that one. And this is the dummy room as well. Like, there's nothing to do in this room, so... All I've done is I've super trapped myself. <coughs> Dang it. There's one cough. Cough one. Cough one of the night. Um, but yeah, it comes super close in pretty much every test. Actually good in gaming as well, which is pretty good. Whoa, <laughs> that was a fun close camera cut there. The fact they jump, and then when there's two of them, y you get stunlocked. You can't walk... They scream, you get stun locks, you can't shoot, you can't run. I, like, that's the bit I'm terrified, is if I get very late and run, and then I just see, like, or then I save, and then I see two of them. Seven minutes, I've made no progress yet. Other than I know which room not to go to. For sure, okay. All I know now is these guys take a bit of a beating. So if I was afraid of shooting the dogs... Oh boy, at this point... <laughs> stop shooting any of these guys. At least I've got the time to respond, because they seem to go very slowly when you're in a hallway with them. Um, but yeah, no, 13900K, it comes close. It definitely loses out on a couple of things. Only by little bits of percentage points, but it's consistently close. Uh, there's not really any particular workload that um, is too different between both AMD and Intel in this case. Now the 13700K uh, is... Oh, come off. Come off. Uh, is that... Is this not a door? I've lost my perspective. Um, the 13700K uh, does consistently... Like close to the 13, sorry, to the 7900X AMD's 12 core offering, but it costs really lower, really lower. Like, again, the F SKU, it's 720 bucks. I think the AMD processor that it's equivalent to is 960, 950. It's it's pretty, pretty close or pretty far away in price. Um, and the 13600K. Uh, it's somewhere in the in the middle, but it's priced exactly the same as the 7600X. It's somewhere um, a little under <coughs> uh, both the uh, Intel. Hi there. <laughs> See ya. Um, so for value, the top end is definitely like... Uh, I, I can see a little bit of an AMD case, uh, especially relating to power, because the power efficiency on all of these uh, Intel CPUs is not as good uh, in two factors. One, the AMD stuff as well has a similar thing where out of the box it runs with way more power than they used to, but the efficiency is there if you control it. If you, if you just set the power limit in the BIOS, there's no r regular zombies now. It's all just, it's all just these fellas. I have used the mansion key. I didn't even look at what the mansion key was. It's just it's the mansion key this time. And a bird. Oh. The magnum rounds? Sure. I just realized I've got no healing in my inventory. Listen, I'm just looking around. I'm just having a having a gander. Okay, so the shells and magnum. Nothing useful. There's a note? A letter? Orders. Top secret. July 22. 
1998-213 to the head of the security department. X day is approaching. Complete the following orders within the week. Lure the members of st- of uh, stars into the lab and have them fight with the 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 bow the B O W. Bot of war in order to obtain data of actual battles. Collect two embryos per B O W type, making sure to include all species except for tyrant. Three, destroy all the Arkley lab, including all researchers and lab animals, in a manner which will seem accidental. White umbrella. I wasn't expecting that. I was just sitting there. Sure. Uh, we got a staircase. Why is there a staircase here? What am I staircasing to? Is, is there anything to pick up with here? Looks like it's about to move. What? What? The... Uh, I'm really not too sure what's about to move with it telling me it's about to move, but sure. Okay. I'll take this as a bit of lore in a shotgun shell room. I gotta deal with this fella. Let's jump. Alright. Oh, really? Double really? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no, Hattie! Oh no! <laughs> wasn't expecting to get decapitated. Oh, I'm not finding the shotgun very effective anymore. Like, they're hopping around. I, like, I guess the shotgun's probably got better range than I'm really using it for, but... Oh. Okay, so... Well, what's the point of going along the ground floor if I could just go along the top floor to get there? Sure. Especially because, like, that's the room, pretty much. Um, where I gotta use this, so... Uh, but yeah, no, the Intel CPUs seem really, really nice, and definitely, uh, very importantly, they are... Um, the kind of gripes of the AM5 platform, particularly the, the fact that you have to buy DDR5, and the fact that you have to buy these, uh, mo uh, yeah, these new motherboards. Um, there's some cheaper B650 boards that have come out, but they're still starting at 350 Australian. Um, or three, 319, I think. <coughs> uh, Z790, the Intel's top spec, is starting at 350, uh, for DDR4 or 380? 370 about? For DDR5 versions, which is not too bad. Um, but also, on top of that, you could just use Z690, and I think the cheapest Z690 board I can find new is 210. Also, that's Z690, you could go for... B660 or H610. Um, there's, a, there's a bunch of options available on um, Intel because they are reusing a socket. It's a, it's a little bit of a cheapo thing. Like, obviously, next year for Intel's generation, it's not going to have that as, a, as an option. Okay, they take three shotgun hits. But they also jump after the second one. That's the bit that's throwing me off. Is the jump. Like, I'm, I'm not... <laughs> I'm not too sure how to handle that jump, and I'm probably going to have to learn the hard way, manually. Um, but, yeah, I Intel's definitely winning on, on two fronts. Just the chips are fairly cheaper, especially for what they're able to pull. They don't quite have that top end. Almost. It's very almost. Uh, but I think the other thing that's really interesting is the fact that, like, one, these, these CPUs are super good. Like... The average person doesn't need these CPUs. Um, I feel like I'm not the average person. And that's why I'm finding a bit more interest in this and why actually I'm kind of going, hmm, you know, I think now's the time. But I'm also kind of going, hmm, is, is uh, AM5 uh, also a decent option? Like, which one should I go down? Um, so the Intel CPUs, the efficiency definitely isn't 100% there. Yeah, I was thinking like, Nothing important. What? I can just look at the, the the moose head and then go, eh, nothing important. It's got its own camera angle. Maybe it's a Chris thing. Maybe it's just here because it's for Chris. 
But what is the bit that's about to move that you're referring to? More like it's about to moose. Ooh. Um, yeah, the Intel CPUs, one, one problem with them is that they, um, well, their regular, uh, turbo window is still there. It, tr it tries to run at 253 watts, uh, for about 70 seconds, and then it will drop down to, uh, 125. Um, you can, uh, remove the limit, so it tries to run, oh. <laughs> okay, so there's actually no point in coming over here. Like, yeah, I get the, the stuff there, but... Man. Okay, do I get any... Hold on, what was along the ground? Just to remind me of what the rooms were. So I go along the... To the ground floor. Where I then find one guy. And a bunch of rooms I've already been into. This is... Man. The one room I did pass is kind of the most important one. Hmm. And I'm kind of kicking myself because I ran right past it. Eh. Oh, let's ignore this fella, and that fella. At least they're facing the wrong way. Oh, he's, he's making a runner. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you if you did full remove the limits on the Intel CPUs, they do run way hot, like 330 watts. They are pulling hard. Um, people, I'm gonna have to do a bit of a, a mini rant on like the reviewers. I think almost every tech reviewer is not doing any of these chips justice. They keep showing them in a range of gaming benchmarks, and they talk about the gaming benchmarks being interesting, but I kind of look at it and I go, every CPU is the same within a generation. There's there's generational um, architecture stuff. That's why, like, you know, AM, uh, the, the Zen 4 CPUs, they run differently to the Zen 3 CPUs. Uh, and they run, and Intel stuff runs differently to its last gen, but like the 13600K, 700K, 900K all perform basically the same in games. The 7600X, 700X, 900X, 950X, they all perform the same in games. It's just whether the AMD or the Intel ones, whether, which, where do they stack? But the actual CPUs don't really lie anywhere. I think on Intel, the quad core starts being maybe a limiting factor like maybe there are games out there that do use six cores rather than four i like how this is the spider room and i'm comforted by the fact that it's just regular old spiders and not guys who jump at me yeah, they do shoot at me but <laughs> okay so now i've got to wander past this room because there's a there's a hugger somewhere in this room or does he just jump no he's just here oh. Oh. okay thanks thanks bro Um, but yeah, like none of these reviewers for the games, none of them really mean much. I think the only thing that you can really say is that the, um, the eight core might be a bit nicer if you pull a bit more background stuff. Uh, and as personally someone on an eight core on the 9700K, that's a great, oh my gosh, uh, that's a great CPU for, um, doing some stuff in the background. I do want to pull a bit more out of my out of my personal workloads, and that's why I'm looking into upgrading a bit more. I also like when I render these videos, I render it entirely in CPU. Thank you. I can at least look at what's in this room finally. It's outside. Gosh, what am I looking at? There's a switch. Push it, yeah. Oh, my eyes. Oh, there's more Magnum rounds. Cool. Okay. But... I'm gonna be a little concerned if... That's okay. Okay, that's clearly a key item. Hmm. Okay, the hugger outside... And the hugger in the stair room that I'm just like, I'm just thinking to myself, like, I've got a limited number of, like, times I can clear enemies. I'm definitely thinking the guy outside and the guy in the stair room. If I can take both of them out, then I get access to the save point. Because I'm going to need this. But, either that's got something in the book, or... Turn the, turn the lights off. 
I got something in the book or I gotta put the book into a thing. I can only see moonlight and dense forests. The other thing I'm curious about, I've still got the key. What room have I not accessed? Because that's got the key card door, unless the key needs to be for a room but beyond that. Um, yeah, uh, okay, so let's try and take out the guy to my right. Probably die trying. We'll see, we'll see how we go. <laughs> Immediately, I tried. Um, so yeah, the real big thing for all these CPUs is productivity. I think it is fine showing gaming benchmarks, um, but I think the kind of confusing thing is a lot of people get the impression that the performance in the productivity and the power draw is also the the power draw in games, but all of these CPUs all the games don't use much of the power. They actually, like, it's a it's a CPU that can, can draw 330 watts, and it only does about 125. Both that and the, and the AMD Ryzen um, 7950X. It's it's kind of weird. It's like, I, I feel like I'm getting the wrong impression from these reviewers. Um, uh, <laughs> is it their fault? Well, partially. They do these kind of clickbaity titles where it's like, you know... Intel destroys, AMD, like, dominates. This is, uh, I think Hardware Unboxed has a video and they've got the, this is fine, like, 3900K furnace fire. And it's like, it, it doesn't do that unless you set it up pretty much, like, wrong. Um, now granted, I think they did say that MSI by default had the board set to, like, no limits. I then go, okay, sure, like, that... That's going to be a thing people run into. Oh my gosh, I can't deal with the jump. Maybe i got to aim up for that one. Um, I was just like, oh, it's a, it's a pain dealing with the jump. Um, okay, so there's going to be a guy on the upper floor here. Oh, hi. Is he done? Oh, oh my gosh. I, I feel like it's not worth, like, really trying, like, crazy hard amounts. It's, it's worth a try. See, that guy's facing the wrong way again, but also, do I have to go that way? No. Maybe, actually. Yeah, actually, yeah. This is one. This is one of the ways. don't drop anything these guys that's that's the other kind of annoying part i would love to be like ah okay you know like risk reward fighting enemies you get a bit of a reward out of it but no you don't i, I know that's a very gamey thing like why would they be carrying anything i don't know i'm expecting it okay so now i want to know what's in this room Picture on the wall, picture on the wall, piano, can I play the piano? Oh, you've got to be kidding. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm super dead. I'm super dead. Okay, okay. Um, the good news is I have to go there. The bad news is I have to go there. Man. And I probably want to grab the book while I'm at it, so. Man. Do I jump back? Like, do I just go back to... What, what does this say? Back in the guardhouse. Was this before or after I killed the plant? Because I'm thinking... I should probably... Because I bolted at some point. I've got the same amount of ammo. I've got the key, so I've shot the... 
the thing, the plant. And I don't have the crank in my inventory. I didn't put the crank in there. But I picked up more ammo from somewhere because I have 100 ammo. Do I just like call it? Do I just like go from the earlier save? Because at least I didn't like gutsy it. Yeah, I'll just go for it. We'll just go from the earlier save. Because yeah, if I walk over here, there's no plant trying to kill me. Yeah. There's all that stuff. Cool. Uh. Yeah, no, the, the, the CPUs, like, they're, they're really interesting because both are kind of the same. Um, and uh, they're both CPUs where if you do max them out, you have to tame them. You have to control them based on your, your workload. Um, set the power limit, just go for that. Uh, if you're on AMD, there's the curve optimizer that will get you the most, like, bang for your buck for uh, the power that you can put in. Which is pretty cool that, like, that's a tool out there. Intel, I'm not too sure if it's really got a tool. It seems to be much more traditional. Lots of e-cores, so definitely, um, if you want to reduce idle power consumption, one thing I saw was you turn down the clock on the e-cores, and that'll... But not the p-cores. You get a lot of the same performance, but... Um, might dip, you know, to 10%, but it's, uh, it's definitely worth 10%, but you save a lot of power. Um, depending on if you need to save the power, that is. Um... And I guess that's the other thing as well, is that like, you know, people go, oh, it thermal, uh, it thermal throttles. Well, if it thermal throttles, is that necessarily a bad thing? For productivity, not particularly. It means you're maxing out the CPU. For gaming, it's a little annoying when you're, you're hitching. And it's obviously hitching. Um, that's definitely one thing you want to control, you want to watch out for. But, it's not the end of the world. Um... And, and also, power limit it. Just, just, just... <laughs> or set the clocks, or do do something. Like, you can control that. Uh, it's a little annoying when you got the chip out of the box, and it is pulling way more than it really should. Sure. But, I don't think... Like, you know, we, we can't say, oh, well, rather, we can, but... So the moment I hit one of these doors, I get the cutscene of the, the guy running... I think it was this next door. It's a legendary cutscene, I'll tell you that. It just kind of happens. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's skip it. <laughs> yeah, he's so cool. Oh my god, I aimed up. And I... Mm. I, I, I just mashed X. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I don't think it's any quicker to go from the guardhouse. Like, I don't fight anything. But... Man. Man, it's like a just sudden like wall of difficulty because suddenly instead of like managing my resource and watching out for like zombies, it's just like it's a corridor. There is a guy that's impossible to pass, and I've just got to know how to take him out. And there's not a straightforward way to really like work with that. Do I bolt it to the snake room? Oh, I gotta bolt it past this guy, first of all. It's it's impossible to like not get a hit when you have to run past him like that. And if I run past this guy, I might be able to get past the the guy um, on the balcony. As long as there's no one in this room. Which seems like it. I I've I've also realized I'm just guessing. Like, they're not in most of the rooms, they're just in corridors. So he's right there, he, he definitely saw me there, but that's okay, because now I'm going downstairs. 
But now I'm going to go downstairs, and there's going to be the guy to my left. If I can get that guy, then I at least get the save. And then, hey, I've got the save over there, and I've also taken out this guy to my left. Yeah, like, look at that, like... Oh, excuse me? Oh, now it takes four hits. It takes four hits this time, cool. I, I hate the number of extra hits that just happen out of out of sheer spite. Did they put more stuff in this room for me? How nice of them. They put this, they put a zombade. The fade, sorry. The fade. Um, and let's put the crank back in here because I'm not going to need it. And then uh, I guess... We're going for the, um... Yeah, gonna take out the, uh... The snake, I guess. That's, that's the best thing to do. So, save your progress with this. We use the ink ribbon? Sure. So just go upstairs, take out the snake. Like, why take out the guy in the corridor, I guess? Oh, unless I need the book. I think I need the book. Well, I'm at that point where I'm saving, so might as well. I've got I've got an idea of where to go, but the 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 physical prowess is starting to kick in. Of like, I've just got to execute. I've just got to not aim up. Up aims up. I gotta like click that in my head. I don't know why I keep aiming, like pressing down to aim up, pressing up to aim down. I don't know why. Alright. Nope. Alright, he took his sweet, you know, ability to get taken out. Can I look out the window, like, while it's dark? Nope, it's still, still dark. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm not going to take the magnum rounds right now because as nice as it would be, it's going to use up an inventory spot. And I'd prefer to take the book. Because then I get, I can at least look into the book. The Doom Book 1. Doom Book 1. Can you open it up? There was a medal on the book. Oh, <laughs> eagle metal. Um. Oh gosh, do I even remember where the? Was there a was there a medal that I picked up earlier? As in, sorry, as in, like there was a spot for medals. The only thing I can think of that I haven't seen yet is, uh, I'm, I know I'm going to be needing like a, a red gem and then I got to put it on the tiger way off in the, in the, uh, the West Wing. That's the only thing I can think of. Um. I'm not going to have a crazy amount of shotgun ammo to take out the snake, am I? You could use the pistol to take out the face huggers, but I I don't trust it. I don't trust the pistol to take them out. It's like, uh, you got the pistol there, but like, what's the point at this point, you know? Oh, like he jumps, he jumps, he hugs you at the back, he hugs you at the back. Now I need my fade. Now I need my fade, because, ugh. Well, at least... I don't need the shotgun, but... Ugh, I am actually, I am struggling hard, I'll tell you that. It's a bizarre difficulty jump. It is bizarre. I'm, I'm not understanding it. 
Uh, oh yeah, there was a herb over here. We'll, we'll grab that. I did leave that over here. Interesting, they populate an old room with new items, but they don't populate this old room with new items. It's like I, I've explicitly got to go into this room. Yeah. Uh, so moral of the story is, um, the only thing I really feel about these CPUs is that AMD need to kind of sink their platform costs. The RAM is the RAM. I think Intel is just going to win naturally because DDR4 prices are a lot, a lot uh, easier to deal with. Uh, but, you know, DDR5 is the next thing. It's really expensive. I, I, I've plotted out like, hey, if I'm getting a new CPU and I want to go DDR5, that's, it is a bit of a cost. It is a bit of a cost to, like, get the DDR5 RAM. Um, at least if you're going for like 64 gigs. Okay, he's a little bloody already. So can I run into the hole? Did he make a hole and then I just gotta run into that? I'm being chased by a boa constrictor. I'm being chased by a boa constrictor. I'm stuck by a boa constrictor. Okay, like can I, can I go in this hole? No, no. Okay, we'll kill him. He does take a bit of hit, a, a bit of heat, and I know, I know, I was like, oh, I should be healing. I, I assume he just does that animation because I am dead. He did a few regular bites. It looked like that was, that was his, uh, his meal for the day. Oh, wrong one. Wrong one. Can I, can I go back? Nope. Nope. Okay, uh, we're rebooting. Hold on. Wait a minute. We are Ecstasy. rebooting. Pick me on the count of three. <laughs> Thank you, reboot. Appreciate it. <sighs> That's me button mashing through menus. I'm talking about CPU so much. I've barely made any progress in 37 minutes. I feel like I've made very great progress and really enjoying it right throughout. And then the moment I stopped, oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know how to really describe it as well. Like it's just, other than it's just a difficulty spike. It's like these enemies take a chunk of health off. Uh, my ammo has barely come back because I've literally not found any more shotgun ammo. Maybe I should just go for it. Maybe I should just go for it. Just go for the snake right off. We'll figure out where the book is later, or like what the what the metal is used for later. For now, we're just going for the book. Um, Alternatively, I ditch the pistol and I go for a different weapon. But what do I have? I guess that's the question. The pistol would be nice if there was even a use for it. There is the bazooka. I'm pretty sure I've got... Nothing else at all. The bazooka would be nice, but I worry I need to save it for right at the end. Like... Oh, use the bazooka on the snake? Oh. You know, what a wussy move. It's like, oh, okay. There's incendiary rounds. Um, I don't know if that's used for the pistol, though. Listen, this is me not trying my, uh, my best, I guess. Maybe I could just run past him. Get him to turn right. Oh, okay. I, I'll just take one bite. It's not like I'm running- oh my god. It's not like I'm running out this way anyways. Oh, this is- <laughs> this is going swimmingly, so... Uh, yeah, um... The other thing that I think- oh, yeah, 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 so all the CPUs, like, they're good. And I don't think anyone should really feel like they'd, like, regret a purchase. Because they're all pretty good. I think the one... I, I do want the AM5 platform cost to go down. But, like, there's no features that, like, either CPU is really missing out on. Except, um, AVX 512 on the Intel side. Um, I think there's some tests where it's, like, it definitely shows that Intel is a little bit behind on their own instructions that they pushed because they've disabled it for some reason. Uh, but if you're not doing an AVX 512 workload, 
doesn't really matter. Uh, the one I can think of that some people might mention is uh, PCSX or RPCS3. Gosh, it takes a while to like queue up the hit and then... Am I good? I'm on danger, so let's heal because otherwise I'd die. I'm having good luck, like, pausing between every- every shot. Did I get him? I got him. I got him. The snake is melting. I repeat, the snake is melting. Do I touch it or is it acid? The snake is melting. He's still melting. That's a good melt. That is a really good melt for like PS1. Now you're gonna look at it. Oh, it's too dark. Hi there. How you doing? Have you found anything interesting? Greetings, Bob. Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. <laughs> yeah, Richard gave this to me. The radio is a keepsake from him. Richard. Richard. You saw a speedrun of this on Saturday. I'd imagine a speedrun would be really good on this game. You know, just so many things you could do super quickly. This is more useful to you than me. Ready to go? <laughs> oh, you just dropped hey, the rope. What's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. You go get another rope, will you? Barry? Barry? You go and get another rope. Sweet. He's gonna get another rope. I'm in like a trash compactor. Oh, there's a grave here. There's a switch below. Yeah, sure, yeah. Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope! Oh, <laughs> I, I was surprised he legitimately came back with a rope. After I, you know, opened the tomb of Tutankhamun. I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. Sorry. Wow. It's really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. I found something. Okay, what would you find? Pass number. Uh, I assume, I can barely read that. It just says 8108310, which I assume is for the, the door at the other side. But uh, sure, okay. Thank you. I'll take this then. See, I, uh, I'm curious that taking out a snake causes this guy to just come through and give you all the MacGuffins you need. Um, my only fear is that I'm going to walk out uh, the next door and I'm going to have the guy jump at me. And it's not that I'm going to get jump scared, it's that I'm going to get uh, annihilated. Because he's facing this way. Oh, like, yeah. How did Barry come over here? How did Barry get over here? Okay, the problem is that's that's my last uh, my last shot. So, wish me luck. Whoa! Is he done? I think he's done, and I've got no health. But you know what? I've got my chest down here, so. I, I know I needed to get rid of that guy because I know I'm going to probably do that, that route for a bit. Okay, so the pistol is not the worst. 
<laughs> it's not great. It's so not great. And I'm out of shotgun ammo. It's just, oh, there's no, there's no success with a shotgun in this game. I guess I've probably been uh, skimping the pistol, but the, the pistol just feels like I'm constantly getting caught out. Like, I, I can't use the pistol without just, like, someone, you know, getting a leg up on me. Gardening tools, nothing this one, okay. I'm curious if I should do the save just because I'm past the snake, but... Probably. Alright, I'll swap that with a herb. Uh, what do I need? Acid rounds, I'll just chuck it in there. Um, do I have shells just sitting here and I've just like casually been like, oh, there's no ammo. Same thing with a little bit of pistol bullets. And then there's a knife, but like, I don't know if the knife is even practical in any way. So how about, let's just rock the pistol for a moment. Um, but again, I don't know what I'm really doing. <laughs> I mean, I've got, I've got the, um, the, uh, the code. I've got, I've got a code. I know, I know where I can go and use the code. But, you know, I, after all that, I'm genuinely a bit terrified how caught out in terms of items I'm going to be for this game. So, they've got the feeling there. They've got the feeling, they've got the spooky enemies. What, what am I looking at here, by the way? I keep looking at this. I'll put some bullets in the back room. Oh. Oh, he was the one who put stuff in. I didn't even look in here. I was just like, oh, okay. I said I took the bullets. I didn't even read his message. Alright, so you need to turn right and then not get slashed by this guy. Which is nearly impossible because you've got a, such a wide turning circle. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I definitely feel like I've got an interesting use case with, um, the fanciest CPUs, so I think I'm probably in the right time to, yeah, start considering upgrades, and, uh, I'm, I'm looking intently at these reviews. Oh, oh, one thing I want to say, um, I know Hardware Unbox and another reviewer had this problem, uh, where they, um, they tried testing the, uh, the power levels of... Um, or rather, at different power levels, uh, for the CPU. They'd set its limit and then test it in Cinebench. And I noticed Hardware Unbox, they got like 70% of the scores of everyone else, um, at like any kind of lower setting. And it was purely because they were using, um, Intel Extreme Tuning Utility, a program in Windows, which has honestly been a bit buggy. Like, I, I don't know, I've not had amazing luck with extreme tuning is uh, utility, but um, uh, apparently when they set the power limit to be lower, for some reason, their voltage would be just way higher, and that would mean the board would, or rather the chip would be drawing actually way more power than it probably should, but because it's trying to keep under a limit, it suddenly runs just way worse. Um, and uh, that was a weird behavior that they decided to keep in, and they kept it in the slides, and it was like, oh, okay, I think it is a bug, someone is going to encounter that, but it's also, um, I oh, see it, now I gotta run past two guys in the spider, or one guy in the spider, but this guy is in like a weird, I'm pushing him, <laughs> just pushing him, ah, oh, he can't beat me, he can't beat me, I'm too good, <laughs> uh, um... Alright, now I gotta get past the spider room. Spider room! Hello, spiders. Um... But the, uh... Yeah, like, they were getting way worse values, and then they, they said, the chip is inefficient. And this is the point where I go, I don't mind if your numbers are a bit off. But, his numbers were so off, or uh, his, this was Steve from, Steve? From Hardware Unbox? I think that's his name. Someone's gonna go like, oh, it's not, it's not Steve. I know there's two people, I know they're Australian. I've completely forgotten where they're from. Sorry, uh, like, what, what their names are. Sorry, I know where they're from. Just said it. Um, 
TLDR, people should get chipped for safety. Uh, maybe, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I don't mind if your numbers are off. Everyone's going to have different numbers. Everyone's going to have different testing setups. Everyone's going to have different um, like motherboards and different RAM. And everyone's testing so many different configurations. I don't really think anyone's got like comparable results necessarily. But when your results are that drastically off, and especially for something where the... Okay. All right, hold on. How are we gonna how are we gonna duck past this guy? Because there's a guy on the other side as well. Uh, like you can't dodge him. You can't dodge him. Unlike the zombies, where you could run past them, these guys are no go on dodging. Um, but yeah, like the wrong numbers, and then coming to the honestly the wrong conclusion. I feel like the the CPUs are like fairly good in terms of you can't shoot over this railing, can you? Oh, but he can. And so can I, apparently. Oh, he's making a runner. Oh, gosh. See, th this is atrocious. Th I can't dodge if I'm doing it wrong. I, ca I can barely hit him. I I'm really doing it tro atrociously. There is a specific way to run past him. I'll definitely say that, like, as someone who's never played this game before, the first two streams I had, perfectly maintainable, perfectly, like, yeah, like, at, not perfectly maintainable, but, like, it was pretty clear. It's like, oh, this is how the zombies work. The dogs run with this wide turning circle, but the, the, the hugging monsters, they're not, they're not that, that easy to run past. They're very, they're very temperamental, these guys. The one benefit I get is that they're, um, they're pretty easy to, all right, three more shots. Okay, they actually don't take too many pistol shots when you're hitting them straight. You hit four times the entire game, the last hit literally from the last time you could hit him a normal zombie. They don't take too many shots, but that's if you're like really aiming at them and really going. So you gotta, you just gotta get them first. Here's the other thing as well. I've got five, um, save uh reels now i feel like i've been using them a bit i gotta make sure that in the next area i'm not like burning too much of the saves but like still i took one hit like it, it, it seems to be just like a massive difficulty jump the moment these guys appear because suddenly it's not just zombies you can run past. What enemies do you deal with? You know, who's really in the way? Just take them out. Like, I'm not deciding when I use my ammo. I'm kind of just pushed into using it. Or I'm or I'm always taking a hit. I'm kind of looking at it and I'm going, now I, I decide I take the hit here. I don't take the hit here, etc. Um, yeah, if I run upstairs, I've got two guys in the way. Whereas at least if I run along the ground, I'm just along the ground. At least I get to push this guy. I'm still amazed. <laughs> he still he didn't even respond for so long. Oh my gosh. Like I don't even want to save in the lobby because it's just like, you know, what have I done? I've only run past like one guy, but. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Uh, moral of the story is, uh, I'll be getting. Uh, either a 13700k or a 13900k soon. I don't know which. I don't know whether the extra 300 bucks is going to be worth it. Because um, if you're not maxing it out, it's not really a point. Uh, I'll definitely be maxing it out, but then like... Will I be maxing it out that often? Uh, let's go along the ground floor this time. 
I know I come out close to the guy. I just, I hate it when they jump. I, I, I'm not, I haven't demonstrated if you can shoot them in the air. I feel like you might be able to, but my jump, my shoot pattern is not particularly, not particularly reliable. I'm not having a good time doing my shooting. So, okay. So then I'm in another corridor. And none of these... None of these rooms are particularly... Yeah. I got the little shop of horror rooms to my left. That's a guy who runs out. I, I, can, I, can, I can get the leg up on that. I can at least run past that one. And now I'm in the room with the stairs. Or I gotta run past like two guys. Man. Oh, jeez. It's, it's not better coming out this end, is it? I mean, there's a save on that end, but that's, what's the point? Barry hasn't put any ammo out there, so... Why be over there? Okay. Jeez. Oh, oh my gosh, please. And now I'm in danger. Do I run downstairs and get some ammo? Or get some health? <coughs> or do I just look into the next room and then go, Okay, let's do it better next time. Okay, cool. That's actually the end of the key. Okay, cool. I'd, I'd prefer knowing that that's the end of the key um, than constantly holding onto it. At least, sure. And then I've already looked in this room because I, I ran over here before and then was like, oh, okay. So there's um, more of this, more magnum rounds, which is fine. There's shotgun shells, and then there's the slip of paper that's basically like, this is the plan. This is my evil plan. And then there's, it looks like it's about to move, but then I can't move anything. So, okay. I ran out the orders already. It's all good. Y'all Resident Evil puzzles are wild. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Okay, so I try going to here, numeric key panel, I enter the pass number, I go in, what horrors lie before me. I hope there's more health. Oh, what was that? Uh, what is that? What is that? Oh. Oh, it's a tr Oh, c really? I can't believe it. I got comboed. I got comboed. Man. Man, I'm I'm really not having a smooth sail this time. I'm constantly getting decked by something. I, I, it's probably because I'm just not holding on to any health. And that one is entirely on me. But it's also like, I'm constantly taking damage from somewhere. Someone is constantly slapping me. Someone is constantly, like, putting something on me. And I don't get to heal everything. I think if one regular herb... Uh... Will you use the ink ribbon? No. Um, I think one regular herb really only heals me for maybe one or two slaps from a guy. You could say, oh, it's... That's survival horror for you. But it's like, man, you know? Like, that is punishing. That is definitely showing me that, like, I don't have much, if any, room to experiment. I kind of would like to experiment a little bit. I guess, I guess the thing is, I'm playing on... Ah, uh, true. True, yeah. I guess the, uh... The thing is, there's the baby difficulty, and I could be playing on the baby difficulty. I'm gonna run left, first of all. Run into this room. Um... But yeah, I, I, I don't know, maybe maybe this is like me criticizing like NES hard, but it's like NES hard is like, we throw you in the deep end and then just expect you to like, try and figure things out after enough attempt, uh, attempts, and it's like... It's fine, but doesn't make the most interesting, like, 
conscious stuff. I think I figured out a pattern on that guy as well. So he takes seven bullets. After you hit him twice, back to back, you wait like a hot moment. Because he, for some reason, doesn't take a third hit. So I think I figured it out. That's, that's the experimentation. It's like, man, you know, you gotta take like a handful of goes with them. In order to really understand, like, how to shoot them. And even then, I've gotta get them before they get me. Like, that guy is like, I wouldn't have gotten him unless I had turned, or like, was facing him pretty much the moment he started moving. So, what is this, the fifth time you've seen me pick up the Doom Book 1? It's very important, you see me pick up the Doom Book 1. There it is, there was a medal in the book. Wow. Yeah. Is there something I could get angry about that someone said on, on Twitter or Reddit? I can't recall. I actually can't recall if I saw like a real bad take. There's definitely the fanboys when it comes to a product release like this. Um, I think the biggest... Oh, he, he reacted. Uh, I think the biggest thing of probably why there's fanboyism is because you're shelling um, several hundred dollars on a product. And you kind of don't want to feel like you made the wrong answer. So... Um, which is why I say both are kind of really good in this camp. Like, I can't think of any real downside to either. They're so similar. But, actually, sorry, they're so different, and yet, they perform similarly. That's the best part. That's the real interesting part. You can't even say, like, that architectural first design, like, who ends up being better, because honestly, both are working really nicely. And I'm excited to see where this goes, but... <coughs> But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know, people like thinking that they've got the, the, the best purchasing decisions and therefore, you know, if you say Intel is good on its own, um, maybe I'm straw manning, maybe I'm kind of, you know, pretending that someone exists, but they don't actually, uh, but yeah, I, I, I did see people in relation to that hardware unbox, uh, mishap. Okay, let's, let's just deck this guy. Oh, dang it. What is the point of decking that guy if you can't deck him? You, you you literally can't deck him that close. But you also can't see him. Like, oh, okay, I'm gonna complain about the fixed camera angles. It's like, I need to hit an enemy who's literally off screen. Same deal with this. Like, I, I, I'm trying to do the hits. I could pull off here because I got so much more distance, but. The key is useless. I know I am. But. Uh. Yeah, I. I, I I'm still under, like. A half impression that a lot of the internet is just bots or like just the Markov chain kind of, you know, the, the simple, it's trained to do certain responses. Um, I guess the general thing, and I, I'll, I've said this multiple times, but uh, it's just like, you know, at the end of the day, if I'm feeling outraged and I'm constantly, you know, spousing stuff on Twitter or whatever, that's just making advertiser money. You know, at the end of the day, my, my outrage is funding people. Um, and it's kind of like, eh, why be upset when you could just not argue with randos online who may or may not even be real? Okay, let's not get decked by these two fellas. Can I just like bolt past them? The guy on the ground looks like he's about to just get like a cheeky like grab, like no matter what I do if I'm like, oh. There we go. Okay, are these corridors? 
No, this is just a hallway. Yeah, this is just a long hallway, and I'm just chillaxing while this zombie's trying to figure out the pathfinding. Am I gonna get jump scared around the corner? Hi there. This is, this is what I mean. I, I cannot, for the life of me, like, hit this guy. Hi, what was aiming? There's no point, because I'm just hitting blank zombies, and I'm just suffering. I mean, I'll grab the two greens. I still have no idea how often you'd actually get poisoned to use the blue herbs. And I'm probably gonna get huggered right here. So let's bolt it. Ah, oh, oh, nah. Yeah, dang it. Dang it. <laughs> it's because I don't have my shotgun on me. That's that's my biggest, like, fault right now, is suddenly I'm now having to relearn the pistol. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm kicking myself. How many times I'm just, like, getting a little bit further, and then I die, and I have to load the save, and go through the, the five minutes of, of actions I've done all over again. I saved, for reference as well, I saved... At the end of the last stream, um, that was save 17. I've only saved twice, uh, and then I put in the effort to just walk back to this save. That was 18. Fought the snake, and that's 19. That's my progress this stream. I've, I've barely gone anywhere. And I feel so, like, upset, I guess, a little bit on the inside. Because it's like, I, I know I'm making progress. But, oh boy, it doesn't feel like I'm making... Uh, substantial progress that's exciting for a stream. Um, like, that's a bit that's kind of, like, frustrating me a bit. I really want to, like, show this off in a really cool way. And it was going so swimmingly over the past two streams, and now it's just, like, oh, it's stagnated. Because, as well, remember, I, I started the stream saying, ah, oh, you know, I'm probably not going to beat the game this stream. But we'll see. Like, I, I thought, oh... Sure, there's, there's like things for beating the game in three hours, isn't there? I gotta persevere, I'm just like... I don't wanna... Have a really bland, boring stream. Granted, I take it back a little bit because, uh... If you all watch me play Pokemon Gold, um... Was that the end of last year? What's that this year? Can't even recall when that was. Um, but uh, I remember I, I got up to the Elite Four and then I like failed. And then I literally spent a whole stream grinding Rhyhorns and Rhydons in the uh, Victory Road. And then still was just got swept in the first battle. And then I spent most of the next stream doing that. And then I fought the Elite Four and won. And it was like, man, you know, like, that was one where, you know, anyone who's stuck through that, you're, you're the real MVPs, because, uh, yeah. But what do, what do you do, I guess? What do you do when you've got, like, a... I guess it, this is a perseverance. This, is a, this, this isn't a grind. It's just a perseverance effort. Um, and I guess also, like, it's a... Uh, <laughs> If, if, if you're thinking too hard about it, it's a, uh, it's a dig at your, uh, your gamer ability. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like, there's, there's a kind of conception that, like, if you're bad at one thing, it's like, that, that's a comment on you as a, a game player, um, or a gamer. Uh, you know, hard, <laughs> hard G gamer right there. Um, but, uh... I don't know, maybe that's like a, an oddly, like, learned, um, association after playing, like, weird competitive games online, and everyone starts doing, like, a rank comparing contest, um, on, like, oh, like, I'm, I'm plat, I'm silver, I'm, you know, bronze, or whatever, like, and, uh, yeah, it's like, I, I never want to feel like I'm not doing, like, amazingly well, I want to feel like, you know, I'm doing fine, to I'm doing pretty good, 
Uh, and like if I play with a bunch of mates and we're all kind of at the same skill level, that's good. I don't like it when like, you know, it's really offset. Um, but I guess also it's like, yeah, like in those games, like, you know, I, I, I feel like mildly digged because when I played CSGO, I feel like I'm decent at CSGO. I'm not like really amazing with aiming. Okay, let's not walk forward. Let's just get him from here. There we go. I, I think I've got this, the pattern. Don't have to hit that guy. Uh, I've got enough ammo for the next one as well, so. Uh, but it's like, I remember hitting like silver four and then feeling real nice that I got to. Okay, we're out. Uh, combine. There we go. Um, but like, I remember hitting silver four as like my kind of initial rank. And then I play like so many competitors. I felt like, oh, I've reached silver elite. I've reached the next rank. I'm in. And then uh, at some point I put down CSGO. I was just like, yeah, it's a lot of work. Competitors are long. I'm just like, okay. Then I was, I came back to CSGO like years later. I put in the effort to get a rank again. And I'm silver two. I don't think I was playing worse. I think just the player base of CSGO has consistently gotten better and better. And not like, I mean, I think I'm up against the same skill people as well, but there's just so many more good players. Um, but I look at that and I go, Silver 2, there's one rank that's worse than me. How large is Silver 2? It's decently big, but... Uh, like, when you're put in a direct comparison contest with someone else like that, uh, in something that doesn't feel volatile, like, your rank doesn't feel like it should be volatile. Um, I am getting old. I'm, I'm, I'm the ripe age of 26. So I've, my best years have passed me now, apparently. Um, but it's like, it's like, when it's like a leaderboard for like a, um, oh, oh gosh. Let's take this guy out the old-fashioned way. How do you get this guy in the head? How do you actually get him in the head? We can't... Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And, I mean, I, I mentioned this at the end of the last stream, and then I didn't even, like, elaborate, but, like, Overwatch 2 isn't even for me. I, 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 I don't feel like I, like, recognize Overwatch 2 as a game anymore. It's just, like... Uh... Or, which is bizarre, because it's it's effectively the same game. But it's like, all the extra features, all the things that they did add... Man, I wish I had my shotgun on me. Jeez. Oh, there's a, there's a mystical door right here that just disappeared from the other angle. Um, also, wow, there's a room I've never been into. Oh, what am I looking at? A battery. Now I can move the elevator in the courtyard. You can't carry anymore. Okay. Good to know that there is a battery here. Good to know that there is that here. That's that's the exact same item, isn't it? Yeah. Someone's gonna yell at me. I don't know what weapon they're for. Uh, my personal theory to why World of Warships and World of Tanks had this huge higher average money spent number. Because all the men wouldn't bulk at spending 50 bucks on a tank or something because, well, they have the time to enjoy the game and they have the money to invest into their hobbies. Yeah, I, like, okay, so my biggest issue with Overwatch 2 is the battle pass. Now, what is this, this isn't a dead end as well, is it? Uh, no, I gotta walk around the corner, and there's another room. I, no, this was where I came from, okay, <laughs> we'll walk back. Uh, when you can only shoot every few seconds, most reflexes are cut out of the equation. Um, yeah, definitely, if it's a slower paced game, um, you do get more interest in an older audience because, um, I mean, like, a lot of pro players are in the late teens to 20s or even younger than late teens. Ah, get off me, old man. Well, maybe I should take the battery now. Oh, jeez. Okay. Where's this lift? 
Oh, this actually goes somewhere as well. Okay. Hang on, this goes somewhere. Oh, that's what that icon was on the map. It's indicating that this is a lift, and now I can open the reverse side of this room. Because I know that this is uh, at a room on the first floor now. Real zombie. Real zombie. This is a real zombie. He's going to kick me. So I'm just going to casually shove him. Dang it. Dang it. Kick his head off, but now I've got no health. Am I about to get, like, jumped by someone? A freezer. It has not been used for a long time. It's not a freezer, is it? It's a room temperature. Water is not supplied. Dark blood sticks to it. What did they cook here? Um, chocolate rabbits, I guess? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. We're not doing another one of these, are we? Wait, what room is that in? This room. Okay. Oh, it's just another regular old zombie. Stasi has not been used for a long time. It's locked from the inside. What what room is that one then? Oh, I'm in the basement. I'm not even. Jeez. Oh, get him out of there. So does this lead back up or like? Because I guess there's a staircase here. And now there's another lift. Oh, okay. This is this is actually this is this is really a uh, a path. So I guess I I feel like there is an opening. There is a pathway I can go to from the battery. Um, I know I need. I keep doing a facial expression, even though, like, I'm just in silence. Ugh. So, again, no save. That's really irritating, because I really want to go in that direction. And I thought, oh, I could. I know that there's the two guys in that room. I know I've got my leg up. I know I can go for it. And then that happens. Or it's just like, the one I'm shooting at stops being the one I'm shooting at. I'm shooting at both of them. And you can't shoot at both of them with the pistol. Ugh. It's irritating. That is so irritating. I get, like, and, and just to, oh boy, I'm getting further. I'm getting further at every go, but I've also not found any, um, save ribbons, any, any ink ribbons. In a while. So I gotta go all the way back here. I still didn't find a, uh, a home for the, um... For the... Books, so I'm actually... Or for the emblem, so I'm actually gonna just... Like, I'm gonna turn around and hit the guy, because I can hit... Take out the guy without, um... Actually, no, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna need to open the door, because I need to use the key anyway, so... Like, I want to get rid of the key. Did it really do a video just for a regular guy as well? Okay, no, well, we made it. We made it. It's all good. I like waiting for him to fall over. Uh, but yeah, no, okay, so the battle pass, uh, they lock Kiriko behind level 55 of the regular battle pass. As in the, I didn't pay money for the Battle Pass Battle Pass. I think, maybe, I think. Um, if you uh, buy the Battle Pass, you can unlock Kiriko at level 4. Now, you get levels in the regular old Overwatch way of you just get experience after every battle or every match. Um, maybe extra points if you're doing well, something like that. You also get points 
experience points for doing challenges. There are challenges every day, um, which give you a bit of points. There's challenges every week. Those challenges add up to give you real currency that you can use to buy skins and the battle pass. Okay, cool. And you've actually, you know, props to there's a free to play way to get the points. Uh, and then there's um, seasonal challenges that just give you experience for more battle pass levels. Uh, there's also just regular challenges just across the board. They just give you, you know, stuff for, uh, again, the battle pass. Sure, okay. Uh, every level of the battle pass, at least if you paid money, gives you fancy stuff. If you didn't pay for the battle pass, you just get um, stuff occasionally. And they're kind of lame stuff. <coughs> a lot of recycled content. A lot of stuff that's just like regular unlocks that you could have always gotten. Um, you know, back in the oldie loot boxes. Uh, but now they're locked behind the battle pass. Woo. Uh, but they've locked a real character that you, that you can play behind the battle pass. And it's very, very far away for the free players to really get to. Nice. I'm glad he hit me from there. Really glad he did. Um, the, the bit that really irritates me is, one, the fact that there's a real character under the battle pass. What happens when you don't get the character unlocked by the time the battle pass runs out? And the battle pass only lasts for nine real weeks. And we're already two, maybe almost, I think we're three weeks in from tomorrow. So if you haven't played Overwatch 2, which I haven't because I'm not putting my phone number in Blizzard, I'm not doing that. Um, if you haven't done that, then, you know, you've already lost a third of your progress. Ooh, fear of missing out. Ooh. Um, but then if you also, yeah, miss out at the end of the whole stage and you don't get this character, well, what do you do? They say the character will be available through some challenges later on, like somehow, but we don't know. Uh, to fear for the worst, um, that character is going to be gone for a bit of time. And free players will just never be able to get them. I'm going to assume you could buy them in the store at a later point. Like, immediately afterwards. But. Two, one, two. Yeah, I, I, I love how people were going, like, you know, the loot boxes were, were bad, but they weren't this bad. And I'm like, I, I didn't mind the loot boxes. I understood that they were a monetary system. And I didn't really think they were, like, adding a ton of stuff, really, into the game. Oh my gosh, what am I shooting at here? Because I can't see him. And he's wandered around to the other side of the room. There you go. Um... But, uh, just to double it up, uh, a lot of people got to Kiriko with a lot of dedicated playing pretty, like, in a week, maybe two weeks. Do you know what you get at the end of level 80 of the battle pass from what I know of? Someone's gonna correct me, maybe I'm wrong. Nothing. Like, I said, you get level 80, you get, uh, what they call a mythical skin. They've used the exact same terminology from League of Legends. This is a brand new skin. Sure, okay, that's your reward for getting to level 80. You know what's your reward for level 81? Nothing. 82? Nothing. 83? Nothing. What actually, like, not what is the incentive of still playing, but rather, what is the incentive of anything but the weekly objectives? Nothing. I feel like it's bizarrely short-sighted. I mean, like, the loot boxes, they went on for a long time. You'd have to play the game for quite a while, like, several hundred hours before you've really unlocked everything. Then you get into the whole, I'm gaining currency and I don't get to use it on anything kind of thing. Which, by the way, all that currency has disappeared now. You can use it to buy not the gold rarity skins. And also they up the cost on everything, so a skin now costs just more in general. Um, so that's fun. Uh, but the last thing I want to really rip on is, you get the paid currency through the weekly challenges. Uh, so every week there's 11 challenges. If you complete four of them, you get 30 Overwatch currency coins. You complete another four, so eight total, you get another 20, so 50 coins total. You complete uh, the last three, and you get 10 more coins total. Uh, one of the challenges in the first week is literally get 20 team kills. Uh, not as in you kill a teammate, but as in you wipe out the enemy team. It's a little easier than it used to be because... Um, uh, the game's a bit more steamroll heavy. 
so it's actually not as bad as it sounds but a lot of people i know it's like after like three days it's like my value is at two i killed two two whole teams in 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 all that time um i think it's kind of shocking that that's a challenge that just you're not going to be able to do some of them are as well it's like win x number of competitives in the week it's like it's a real large amount of like work that you've got to get done just to just to do that um and then i did the math on this let's say you are a god and you get 60 uh of the paid currency every single week oh my gosh um I want to check out what's in this room, because I know I can just leave with the battery, but like... Oh my god, this music again. Hi there. Uh, but... So, let's say you get 60 of the paid currency a week. That's 600 paid currency in 10 weeks. Or rather, that's... Um... 540 in 9 weeks. And I want to specifically use 9 weeks, because... That's the amount of time of the season pass. The, or rather, the, the, the battle pass. The battle pass costs... Oh my gosh, jeez. There's a book here. I want the book, but, like, what's the point of the book? Maybe I should have read it before I, like, tried running past it. Oh. There's the guy on, over on this side as well. Oh, where did he go? Did he follow me around this this way? Or did he just disappear? Okay, sure. I'm thinking I probably need a heal. Because those bites are apparently real vicious. Yeah, this caution. Ugh. I hate the amount of healing you gotta burn through. This... There's a lot of books. What's the number on chemistry? Interesting. A switch where you push it. Is that gonna highlight a book? Something has been placed here. Yeah, uh, yeah. What? Ooh, indeed. <laughs> what has been placed here? What has been placed here? <laughs> okay, good question. Oh, it's. Uh, I assume it's a switch. I gotta push this thing onto onto that. I guess. Um, but yeah, no, the battle pass costs a thousand coins. So if you're playing and not paying, you have to play for, uh, doing the math in my head, math in my head, um, 60 coins a week, that's, um, seventeen, I think. So, just shy of a second, like, battle pass does are you able to afford one you take the modisk now this is a curious item i was not expecting to find a little tiny floppy disk they had cds back then i can't believe it where am i going by the way is this like another room that i've just like wandered into no this is the front room this is the front door so what's the there's a side room on the map there that's you see that? There's just like a square that's just off, apparently. Um, but yeah, I unlike Fortnite where it's... And also, by the way, the Battle Pass does not give you any currency. Even if you paid for it, there's no currency available. Um, so the only way to get it is through these weeklies. There's a very controlled stream of, of currency. And even if you're an absolute god and you manage to do all the challenges... 17 weeks. Most people are not gods. Most people are not gonna get all those challenges done. They're not gonna get that much, you know, that many points. Uh, now, just to really top it off, a gold skin, the ones that you can't buy with uh, your currency from Overwatch 1, is uh, 1,600 coins. It's... it's considerably more than the battle pass and uh again the only real way that you're gonna get those skins otherwise is i think if they put them in the battle pass at a later point in time but for the time being those skins are entirely off limits 
Can I can I just kick this guy? Like I wanna I wanna just like get rid of him. There you go. That wasn't so hard, was it? Is there really anything in this room though? I didn't pick up anything, I just like here's the door that like is locked from the inside. And everything's dusty. The bit, the bit that's annoying is that, like, I know I need to, like, bolt out. I need to get past the two guys. And if I can do that without getting, like, sunlocked, it's sick. Which I might be able to do. Okay, so this guy's gonna come down, and I'm just gonna, I'm just literally just gonna dance around the table. Like, he's just gonna chill. Are these guys any different to, like, any other kind of zombie? Like, they're just regular old zombies? Alright, he's gonna come up close on the camera. There he is! There he goes! Woo! Table dancing. Everyone loves a good bit of table dancing. Like, what, what, what good 90s game doesn't have table dancing? You know? It's great. Uh... Okay. So, I'm just gonna bolt it. And if I can get past... The guy, then I'm good. But I'm a little concerned because uh, one guy is facing you. The other guy, the other guy is not facing you. So this guy is not facing me. Whoa! Heck yeah! Heck yeah! Woo! Um, I'm gonna save in in the in the courtyard. Because now, like, I've done a lot. I've done- I've gone a lot of places. I haven't saved at all, like, <laughs> anywhere. I took so many goes to get this far. Just to- just to walk past another ink ribbon. Like, I guess that was the one on the other side, but... You know. I put in the effort, put in the time. That's what I get. That's what I get. Pop that save in there. Feel good about myself. Feel good about myself, jeez. Okay. Phew! <laughs> One hour thirty, finally, save three. Um, <laughs> so, okay, so I've got three key items here. I'm really not too sure when the key items get used beyond um, the battery definitely outside. And I think that's probably the way to go. I was not expecting a downstairs. But we've got a locked door, um, not with a key. I've basically checked out every room here. Uh, the room on the right there is just locked by magic. So, I don't know about that one. Um, we've checked out every room up here. Uh, so pretty much I think the only place to really go is outside. Uh, that means I've got to go through the spider room and then there's one guy chilling there. Or I go upstairs and there's two guys chilling. So I think my odds are a bit better if I go this way. Spiders are not as bad as the dogs. Like, they drop down, they take their sweet time figuring out that you're there, and then they don't chase you. So, I mean, they run after you, but they're not doing a good job of that. So we'll just go through without killing any spiders this whole game, apparently. They're very big. They're very nicely modeled spiders as well. I appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, no, I... The bit that kind of grinds me about all that Overwatch 2, um... Fiasco. Hi there. Oop. Let me pass, let me pass, let me pass, there you go. Uh, but the bit that gripes me is just that, like, there was all this content that, um, content, it's cosmetics, it doesn't really matter too much in the grand scheme of things, but there's all this stuff that, uh, like, me as a player of Overwatch 1, that was the kind of stuff that, like, I, you know, was able to play with. We, you would get these skins, you put in the time, you get that kind of stuff. You could pay for the loot boxes. You could. But a lot of people felt, you know, they gave out enough free loot boxes just with doing, um, kind of just a couple of bonus objectives. You play your arcade games, uh, like that kind of incentivized stuff. But also inevitably, you get a lot of skins that you do care about. And it's not too bad, really. Like, once you, once you do get skins you care about, everything kind of falls into place. Uh, I am putting the shotgun back in my... Uh, inventory, oops. Um. 
like inevitably a lot of people do care um or rather they like sorry phrasing a lot of people uh enjoyed what they got out of the loot boxes i i feel like it's a bit of a sacrilegious thing to say but it's just like i think you know people did have a decent time with the loot boxes you know if they remove the way to pay for them i think there would be no complaints um i think it's just the fact that that's there is really kind of like it gets in the way um Uh, I actually started playing um, Nintendo Switch Sports, and th that game actually does the exact same thing as Overwatch 1. Um, it's also really annoying. You you get prompted immediately when you start playing the game that you needed to pay for Switch Online. So, oh boy, I'm, I'm going to be the sucker who pays for Switch Online. Um, hi there. Ooh, quick dodge, quick dodge, can't beat me. Does that mean I'm going to have to deal with a bunch of these guys outside? That's going to be annoying if I do. They did run at me from this direction, though. So... Here is the herb. Let's, let's hang out with the herb, because I didn't take any herbs with me, and I probably should have taken one. Take the green herb. There's a blue boy over here as well. Two blue boys. But again, when do you use the blue boys? Uh, so I could, indeed... Put the battery in right now, can I? Oh, the battery's at the bottom. Yeah, okay. Do I need the winch? I'm gonna kinda kick myself if I need the winch, I'll tell you that. Took the winch with me. Oh, I am gonna need the winch. I am gonna need the winch because I need a. I know I'm gonna need a raise this in a moment. Ah. Okay, we'll go back. We we'll got the winch. Ah, uh, I can't believe I, I can't believe I forgot to get the winch. Ah. Uh, uh, so, moral of the story, uh, never expect anything to be the worst thing ever, because it will find a way to get even worse. Um, it's, it's disappointing that Overwatch 2 is as, <laughs> don't be a Grinch if you forget the winch, that is true, that is true. Cool. The pause strat works. They can't beat you when you pause. I keep checking the ammo. Yes, that is ammo. That is indeed ammo. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm hoping for the Activision Microsoft deal to be stopped by the UK. Oh my god. That, oh yeah, Microsoft was planning to buy them. Jeez. Okay, Microsoft is a massive company. I don't 100% trust. Um, you know, like the crazy purchasing. I thought Zenimax was nutty like geez like that's a bizarre acquisition it's like Zenimax owns so much stuff and yeah Activision Blizzard um yeah like uh I I think what was the thing is like Activision is basically like the last like well not the last but it's like they were like the original publisher way back when it's like they were the publishers um for like Atari 2600 games. I think that was like what makes them the first one. And uh, it's, uh, it'd be kind of, you know, sad to just be like, everyone's getting bought up by everyone. Um, I think if there's one, one bit of a, you know, um, safety in, in the world, apparently Tencent is uh, losing a bit of value as a company. Um, not, I'm not saying that, like, I don't necessarily want big companies to fail. I kind of just want everyone to be, like, you know, big in terms of everyone has lots of room to, to grow and invest and that kind of stuff. Like, everyone. Not just a handful of big companies that end up kind of monopolizing or oligopolizing 
a whole industry. Um, and that's the, the scary thing about the, the Microsoft stuff is, uh, geez, like, you know, they offer, it would not make Activision fail, it would decrease their inflated worth. <coughs> oh, I, yeah, the other thing is, yeah, everyone has such an inflated worth, and, uh, actually, that's a, that's a good topic. Um, YouTube might be charging people for 4K, uh, in the near future, and it's like, YouTube is such, and, and Google, are such hyperinflated... Um, well, I, I mean, they've, they've also got to overshoot, like, real fire as well. But a lot of the time, like, they do this buyout basic, like, they, they pitch that amount of money because no one else would compete with that. No one else wants to, like, even try to compete with that. Um, a forced buyout, like, you know, it's still mutually agreed. Um, so we'll use the crank on the way back. That's, that's all we're going to use it for. Um. So I gotta watch out for the snakes again. Um, yeah, technically a company can still just say no. I don't think that they're legally obligated to say... Actually, I think if they're public, publicly traded, they actually do have to say yes. Like, there's a degree of, like, you have to do what's best for your shareholders. And at some point, it's like... Well, like, 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 like that's a general statement. I don't know what the law is on, like, what what is deemed not for the best of the stakeholders. I don't know what... Um, what physically would like differ, but um, so the battery is pulled out. Yes, let's put the battery in. Finally, Z battery. We'll go back up the lift, and then I assume you put the crank on so you can stop the water, and then you come back down this side. So now you've revealed the pathway that's clearly underneath there. Here we go, but, um, but, uh, yeah, with, with YouTube, clearly YouTube doesn't make money. They, they have put in a lot of, a lot of effort to try and do the ad revenue, and then, uh, PewDiePie said the N-word on a bridge in PUBG, and suddenly, you know, everyone's ad revenue is in jeopardy. Um, which, I feel like, to me, kind of just raises the question of, how is this even, like, I mean, YouTube is such a great site to, to have in terms of, like, I can just upload videos and people can just watch it at any time. Like, it's great for that. Um, but YouTube is also like, how does it make money? Like, really? Do the ads really make that much money? Advertising, like, has just kind of been weakened over time. I don't think advertisers, you know, they gotta go gorilla. They gotta pretend that, like, real people are talking about things. That's the only way you can get stuff advertised now. Um, or you legitimately cause a viral trend somehow. I don't think it's easy to really plan that, and sometimes you can feel it's a bit forced, but sure. Uh, but, yeah, clearly YouTube costs more to run than it really would make back. So, they're trying to push the YouTube Premium by taking back a feature. They're taking back 4K and going, you have to be paying for YouTube Premium in order to get that feature. So now, uh, as well, after I've stopped that waterfall, I can walk down here. Where I'm greeted by a ladder. Oh boy. <laughs> Anytime there's a new area. Okay, we got a door. <coughs> Anytime there's a new area, I'm kind of like, oh boy, what am I in for? Oh. Oh, Jill. What good timing. A moment ago, I heard someone's voice coming from this hole. Let's go together since it's dark and we can't see very well. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Okay, then I'm gonna cover you. Let's hurry. Why would I not go with him? Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. No, don't go first. Okay, okay. let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. I'm depending on you. Okay. So is he gonna properly follow me? Hey, he properly follows you. Cool. Uh, here we go, another door. Um... So... Uh, it's a bit annoying that YouTube has... You know, reverted a feature that we've had. Uh, 4K is kind of expensive. And honestly, like, people who accidentally watch in 4K... I can- oh boy. 
Oh, a legend, two shots. Well, that is why you have him watching your back, because I don't want to be the one to waste my ammo. He can burn his ammo all, all we want. Uh, I, do I do I get a map of here? <laughs> I get I get the snaky map of the rooms that I'm I'm going through, but is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Enrico's? Yeah. You're alive. Wait there. Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh yes. Enrico. Enrico, baby. So, Barry and Jill together. Are you all right, Enrico? <laughs> what was that? What would that mean? The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. At least he didn't Everything say the two words. From the start by umbrella. Huh? What? <sighs> Did he just shoot himself or like... Enrico! <laughs> that would have been a nutty shot to get to get him from that angle. Barry is investigating. Barry, Barry, I need you. I need you, Barry. Are you gonna? <clears throat> sure. Okay. I'm gonna run off. I'm gonna run off irresponsibly. Oh, he dropped the crank. So why have I got two cranks now? What could I possibly use two cranks for? Okay, check this out, Barry. I got two cranks. Barry, Barry, crank. Come on, Barry. I need you. I got two cranks. That's all I got, so... Uh, but on the flip side, yeah, with, with YouTube charging for 4K, it's kind of like, man, you know, like... Maybe we need our own solutions. We do it for funsies. Oh, hi there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Barry. Barry. Is supposed to help me. Now I'm on the critical health or the caution health. <sighs> Freaking Barry. And I keep checking, checking the, the thing every time. Oh, check it again. It's still, it's still ammo. Well, I had like a hundred pistol, and now I've been burning it all on these guys. And honestly, I've not been finding much more, so I'm getting more worried. At least I can eventually take him out. Please don't be a third one in this room. Oh my gosh. I'm really not too sure, like, what I'm looking at here as well. I'll take the fade. I'll take the fade. Is that a power generator? But it does not seem to work. And then this is the ammo that I've just not been using. Actually, this is a uh, rockets, isn't it? Maybe I should be using the rockets. <coughs> it's a power generator, but it does not seem to work. Yep, okay, cool. There is a... Uh, a hole here. Cool. Cool, okay. Um... I nearly had the rhythm on that one. I nearly had it. That's okay. Are we back at the beginning? We're back at the beginning, right? Okay. So it really doesn't go far. It actually really... Oh, wait. It goes down the other way. So if I go back here... 
There's a door on the other side. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so I, I didn't just wander around the other direction. Is that really a... That's a cool... Oh, there was a save here the whole time. I could have been saving instead. <laughs> who puts... Who puts a typewriter down here? What is actually, like... <laughs> At this point, I don't think this one makes sense. I don't think anyone's like, ah, yes. The sewers. My home. Home of the rats. I turned 18 on October 19. Ah, oh, happy birthday, my fella. You're now old enough to legally drink in this country. There's a hexagonal hole. Ah, oh. That's an ah oh moment because I know the hole is open and I can't jump over. Okay, okay, I got this. There's a ladder, will you climb it? Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, Mr. Crip. Very, very happy birthday. What other things can you do when you're 18? Uh, you are legally... Hard, hard liquor. Uh, you're allowed to legally uh, play violent video games like Atelier Riser. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some real, real like nonchalant answers, but Australian like ratings board gave them like really high ratings for some reason. Um... That's like another one. Um, and yeah, yeah, you can smoke. I, out of all the things, I don't understand like cigarettes. It's like, I, I understand the whole like, it used to be the cool thing. But I honestly don't, although granted, I don't understand alcohol either. It's not, it's not for me. I drink it, I'm like, man, I'm thirsty, I'm dehydrated, but I don't feel like good or relaxed. I just feel like I'm just dehydrating myself um so it's just not not for me uh stellaris is rated six here so happy genociding from a young age you can brew moonshine the only thing i i know off the top of my head about moonshine is that one video of the guy who's like i'm drinking my moonshine this snake won't bite me <laughs> like that that one's a classic it's so good I don't know what to do with two cranks, so we're going to swap it with the eagle metal, which is... Is this hexagonal? This isn't hexagonal, is it? No, I just ran back here. Instead of using the crank, which is clearly hexagonal. This is clearly got a hexagon here. I ran all the way back. The end is hex... Yeah. I think it's quicker to just run back. Like, then to, then to reboot the console. It takes a while to reboot the console. Um, so what about this crank? Oh, maybe it's a different... Different shape at the end? Ah, it's a square one! Okay, okay. So I assume I'm probably gonna, like, pop the hexagonal one in and forget about it. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I take back all the things I said at the beginning of the stream where I'm, I'm not making any progress because it's like, oh, you know, we got we got this sewer area. We clearly know of a evil corporation that has basically made the zombies and are clearly out to just get us in particular. Uh, there is a traitor um, among us. Most important, uh, you can now set your real birthday and web registration. Oh, dude, power move? Keep using your fake age. Uh, I, I, on my Twitter, I am apparently born January 1st, 1899. I'm never changing that. That's what you gotta do. Based, 100% based. Just keep, you, use, use your fake birthday all the time. Never put personal information on the internet. Because the birthday, okay, real talk. Like, it's great for people to tell you about your birthday. Um... Also, I guess you literally told me the day and the age, so uh, I I can't help you from here on out. But uh, you're over forty on your main Google account. I think I've got my real age on my Google. Um, I'm a actually no. I have no idea because like I definitely made my YouTube account when I was under thirteen, so I don't know what I'm what I'm all about. Um, but it's just like I I. Because we had the recent, like, Optus 
hack. And I used to be an Optus customer, but all my data was still with them. Um, so I, I'm probably part of that hack. Look out for uh, for me and that hack, and find out all my personal information. Is this the safe thing to do? Is it basically shout out that I'm totally part of the hack? Someone's gonna look for it anyways. This feels like a lot of effort to, um, to set this up. <laughs> uh, because when I was not uh, 18 I made it a smart thought, well if I just said 18 is suspicious. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, the, the trick is to, like, yeah, just be a couple of years more. Um, I'm still holding on to the crank. Interesting. This was back in 2009 or 2008. Yeah, yeah, but, like, having it on, like, an odd date, like, people don't suspect. And especially a date where, um, it's not, like, connected to anything, like, it's actually just a random date. This is an ominously long corridor that then leads into a... This is an Indiana Jones boulder in the way. This is just an Indiana Jones boulder. I did all this effort. Alright, Barry, come in. Barry. Barry. I... <laughs> I assume this radio is legitimately a plot point and they don't want to rock, like, take care <gasps> That was that was not too bad. <laughs> Who pushed that? What what compelled that boulder to move? Oh, hi there. Oh, now I gotta blind fire him. Oh, what am I shooting at? I'm... I'm still fine, okay. I'm now not fine. Okay, uh, boys, question. Is going to buy a SNES Mini in 2022 and crack it? Um... Possibly? I would personally... Uh, well, for, for legal game playing, it's a great thing. For, uh, people who have the means to acquire ROMs in other ways, uh, there's much better tools out there. Um, the biggest problem with the SNES Mini is that uh, there's only a limited number of games. Uh, one of them is Star Fox 2, which wasn't actually released uh, outside of the SNES Mini, so that's cool. Um, if you're going to crack it anyways, I feel like... You know, there's probably a lot of, a lot of other things you could purchase. Um... So yeah, I can go where the boulder is. Oh, and that pushed uh, another hole. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, I, I'd lean into maybe something else like a... Um, what's the music doing? Oh, bees. Bees Choga. Oh boy. I'm poisoned, aren't I? Yep, cool. And there's a knife. I Oh, I guess if I'm like ultra screwed. How fast does he turn around? Oh, he's got a belly! Okay, okay, cool. Well, the good news is I have this and I don't have any healing items. So, this is gonna work swimmingly. Let's get him. Man, he spewed out a lot, didn't he? What's over here in this corner? The same knife. I, I just... I know, I just acknowledged the knife again. And probably got poison again. Okay, cool. I just shoot an arm off? I am. This is a bit violent for a kid's game, is it? Oh my god! <laughs> oh god! Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Good news, I'm poisoned. Bad news, I'm poisoned. That That is a Harry Potter too. Okay. Stuff it. We shoot the shot and then we run for the poison because now I can, now I can, um... 
do this. Yeah. But, uh, oh boy. Oh wait, maybe the, the poison's in the room after. The, the cure's in the room after. Like, maybe it's just, don't panic, just keep going rather than try and run back. Okay, so that gets rid of the spiders. How do I combine fire rounds? Flame rounds. Like, I, I want to use the flame rounds. Okay, yeah, yeah, put... I want to combine it with the flame rounds. Or, uh, yeah, like, how do you use the flame rounds? I guess you could probably cut it. If you try hard enough. Uh, did you see some Korean dude hacked Game Gear Micro? And you can play 52 games on this console, but full batteries will get you only one and a half hours of micro gameplay. One and a half hours? How small is the Game Gear Micro? I guess, yeah. Oh boy. Uh, equip. Okay. Die, web. Don't, don't die, Jill. Don't do it. Okay, go ahead. Get in. Wait, how am I going to equip this? I got too many items in my inventory. Okay, so I needed to pick up the knife in order to... I don't see no healing! <laughs> I, don't, I don't really quite know where I'm going with this one. I feel like Jill is just gonna like die at some point. Just it's gonna happen. Why why can you Okay, so it runs through here. Oh my gosh, the layout, I swear. Oh god. This goes up. This goes up. Okay. Um We're going up. Where are we going up from? This looks new. This is new. Do they have a chest? It's got the the blue, but ah, I can't I can't hold it. I can't like drop things. I, I I just can't drop things. And it's welded. So at some point Jill's just gonna fall over. It's because Either that, or you can't die from poison. But like, I just want to pick this up and go, ah, can I eat it? You know? But I can't, because, ah. That, the inventory is very irritating. Is there no way to drop it? Just no other button? Nah. Nah. Okay, so either I'm going to be eternally in danger mode until I um, take a blue thing. Which maybe I could get away with it. Maybe I could like run all the way back. You know, pop the pop the knife in the chest. Solve the puzzle. So okay, we go around. We got the Indiana Jones. I assume I'm dead if I go for the Indiana Jones, so I'm gonna, as it, because it's not close. It did look like it was kind of outrunning me. But if I move it like this, now there's a hole, like an actual big hole. So what I'm thinking is, maybe I push it one more time, and then maybe there was a room on the left side here? Either that, or that's just actually just the hole. But like... How do I... Mm. Yeah, no, that's an actual room. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, this music makes me think that someone's about to jump out and kill me. Uh, 
Uh... Okay, so this statue is cool, but he's on the wrong side of the room. And this is a hexa- this is still hexagonal! The square crank is not used at all. Ah, okay, cool. I had that right at the right, like, point. So that pushes that out, and that means, can I push it from here? Yes, sick. I- I hacked it, apparently. I just saw it and I was like, cool, okay. There we go. Isn't that great? There's a second item here and I still can't hold it. Oh my gosh. I'm poisoned. I'm just, I'm suffering here. Was, it... <laughs> was there something visually there or I just kind of pushed it like so it was kind of like next to that and I just went with it. Um, so one shopkeeper on the Vita that sells SNES minis with 4K games, it contains, uh, 20 em- Oh, 4K is in 4,000, it contains 20 emulators, it includes PlayStation 1, Dreamcast, Saturn, and many others, uh, not- oh, through your normal menu, not that RetroArch, uh, they had also put- I- there's- there's a lot of alternative, um, front ends as well, like, it's not- it- it might be, um, <coughs> I know RetroPie is, um, I think it's a lib retro based one, I'm not 100% sure, um, PS2 could work- oh boy. We've just got actual snakes. Actual snakes. <laughs> I mean, they're the same actual snakes from before, and it's not like I've really got to stop and shoot them, but... Um... But yeah, uh, PS2, like... Uh, if it's a little- little thing on it, like it's a r real tiny, like, SNES mini-style device, um... Might be a bit sus. Might be a bit like, ooh, do you trust it? Because it's only got, like, PS2 or 360. Three, I mean, 360 emulators, uh, that does exist Xenia, it's pretty alright. I'm gonna go back and make sure I heal off the other one. But there's no chest. PS2 is a bit sus if you look into it. Um, yeah, definitely. I, I mean, software rendering PS2 emulation, very mixed reaction. Hardware rendering... Uh, that's alright, but some games are pretty, like, software or CPU intensive anyways. It chugs on my 9700K. On a little tiny one, uh, PS3 has the better emulator, but it's still, um, intensive. Like, my 9700K is, like, it's on the cusp. Um, it definitely, like, there's... Yeah, uh, I, I don't deny that maybe they could put it on there, I just don't trust that it's probably gonna run well. A lot of people will try, um, yeah, Z Zini is definitely a slower dev cycle, um, it's doing alright for, like, what it is, but it's, uh, yeah. Dreamcast is surprisingly, it's a lot more fleshed out than it used to be. It used to be very shonky to run Dreamcast games, and now, um, particularly, uh, Raycast and then forked into Flycast. Um, it does very, very well. It's kind of interesting, you can't die from poison. Like, I'm still poison, aren't I? <laughs> Suffering the poison for so long, but... Uh, at least the path I watched before I need to go to college. Oh, for the, for the little mini console, yeah. Uh, so, okay, so I don't need this. Um, I don't think I need the eagle metal. I don't think I need the knife. There's another knife. Um, what's this serum even for? Who knows? Did I put any blue herbs in? I didn't carry any blue herbs. I recently watched a Let's Play of a Mario hack I watched in, like, 2010. And the first thing was the SNES simulator scene. Oh, if you see, like, um, like the Z SNES, like, menu. Um, you know the one? It's, like, it's got the little... The, uh, it's like a pale blue and it's got stars falling everywhere. Um, I've got, and actually I think the very first emulator stuff I ever did comes up with the ZSNES menu and has the frame rate in the bottom left. Um, <coughs> it's remarkable because ZSNES is, was for DOS. It was really old and, and totally shows that it's like, you know, DOS styled. Um, and, uh, 
but it's uh yeah they, they port it to windows and that, that's why it's a little quirky with its ux compared to just like snes 9x which is just like it's just a window with a menu bar at the top um maybe snes 9x is a bit more different everyone loves doing their own like fancy ux menus and emulators as well but nothing beats just the classic like it's a square with a, with a menu bar at the top um emulators are a lot more advanced now there's definitely more things going on i think it does call for context menus a bit um, you know, like any game, you gotta like change settings on the fly. It's just like, sure, okay. Take the blue herb. So finally, I can cure myself of the poison. To which I am now about to die. I'm still about to die. I'm just gonna go back for the other herbs I've got. I mean, they're sitting there. There's not many red herbs. I'm not able to mix the mix them with red herbs very frequently. Or I burnt through a lot of them already. I had to fight a big spider, okay? It was necessary. It was necessary to save the world. Yeah. I I always love like this like weird market for emulators, for the emulation scene, like the fact that like people make these little mini consoles and there's a legitimate market about selling these consoles and then just like some people will have them with just a bunch of games on them sure are you legally allowed to sell a device with the emulators on it probably not but honestly like the money for a device that does that can run the stuff when <laughs> like even if it's like i'm putting it on there myself it's like, I don't think I've got, I've got one more green herb in my inventory. Um, see ya Mr. Crip, happy birthday and have a great week. I'm gonna continue on for just one hot moment. Did I save? I didn't. I'm gonna do one, one safety save because I haven't saved since I shot up the spider. I've definitely cleared a lot of the uh a lot of the camp there but we'll go we'll go for one more one more save um kind of step i really need more save tickets though i tell you i'm at 22 i'm like oh i thought i was being conservative with my saves earlier and then it's just like i took forever to like get anywhere and now i'm down to two saves uh briefly in the afk it's all good uh, but yeah, <laughs> so, so my thoughts at the beginning of the stream of, oh, I'm not making progress, oh, there's a difficulty spike. Once I kind of figured out how to start taking out the enemies, you just gotta, you gotta get that rhythm right. It punishes you very hard. Once you get that rhythm right, it's a little better, but it's still kind of like, oh, it gets in the way. Um, oh, will you go three hours? No, I'm not going three hours. I'm, I'm probably just gonna, um be another like 10 15 minutes there we go so let's let's roll let's get out of here i should also just eat the herbs there you go i'll keep it at fine for the moment i'm worried i'm just gonna get poisoned again uh bye and see you around see you around blob have a good one why is this? There you go. How's it going there? Um, I I love the low resolution and then whoosh. <coughs> but I, I I love that it's like sixty frames a second on on that. I think it's like thirty when you when you run around. But this game, like, I, I, listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna rip into it for like various difficulty spikes for expecting to kind of just figure things out. Um, but honestly, I mean, like, you know. You get there. It's not like, well, it is horror. It's terrifying at times, but it's also, you know, you, you, you have a go. You, you, you have an attempt and you persevere and you get there. I guess that's, you know, isn't that the beauty of it, I guess? Perhaps that is the, the true, the true horror, uh, with us all is the lack of 
of success, the the fear of uh, of failure. We discussed, uh, you know, what happens when. Is there anything else in any of these? Like I know that there was the one sparkly, so that you could have a knife to cut open the the thing. I guess you could not kill the spider, but that feels kind of mean. <coughs> oh, thank goodness! I heard, I'm I'm. There's only two in there. They used to come in threes, now they only come in two. I'm at least glad there's, there's a little bit, there's a little bit there. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab another thing out of there, and then where do you put the... Oh boy, yeah, snakes. Um, I don't think I went in this door as well. No. We'll keep going, and then, and then, cause, oh my gosh, they're coming out of the walls. Um, at least you can outrun the snakes. The snakes are not too bad. Oh, hello there. Oh, that's, a uh, more ink ribbon. Cool. Okay, I've been complaining about not having ink ribbon, and I just found five. And that's a zombie, isn't it? Oh, and there's a chest here, and there's a save here, and there's a blue- <sighs> Oh, I could've just turned right. I could've just turned right. Listen, we'll pick it up, we'll put it in the box. Begrudgingly put it in the box. Ugh. Can't believe it. It's kind of interesting that there's a save particularly close on both sides of the, um, the spider. Like, there's not really anything... In fact, I'm pretty sure there's, like, just the one room. Like, separating, you know, with the with the crank, pretty much. And then you're immediately in the room with the spider. So interesting that they've, they've done that. They've, they've gone for that. But again, I don't know, maybe it's a thing to accommodate two kinds of players. Or two, um, two characters. Alright, so that's just a dead-end room. There's gonna be snakes coming at me. Cool. Gonna come out from the ceiling. Cool. Dodge that one. Yep. And then I grab. Like we go. Not that way, because that goes up. That goes up into its own room that we've got no idea where that comes from, but uh. Don't know what to do with the Indiana Jones here. Do I trigger the Indiana Jones? Well, let's grab the... Oh, cool. Cool, this didn't... This undid the, the puzzle. Sick. Okay, well, let's put the hex crank in. Oh, I can't use it! There's a hex crank, yeah. Yeah, okay. Wheel that back in. Can you actually see it? Uh... Oh boy, if you're looking hard enough, yeah, I guess you can, but... No, actually, no. You can't. You can't really see it. Pop the hex crank in. Oh, okay. Can I... What is... <laughs> this is just like... Out of your view, just slightly, and then you, you gotta interact it off an, an odd angle here. Very bizarre, but sure. I guess we'll use it again to wheel it back in, because I've pushed it maybe a bit too far this time. Okay. We push this. It's on the button. Oh. Let me push it this way. There we go. Do this. Okay, will you take the Doom Book 2? So what is inside the Doom Book 2? There we go. There was a medal in the book. Wow. It's a wolf medal. But what do you use these for? And then I guess, yeah, like I've explored around all of that. So, uh, that feels fine. But where do you use the medals on? I have 
like some feeling in my head that I've seen it before. But I can't actually recall where, because it wasn't this stream. It's not a room I've been in on this stream. Um, so going up there is kind of weird because you get a locked door and then just nothing. Unless I didn't interact with anything, I was kind of panicking because of the poison. Hi there, snakes. How you doing? Snakes. Why are there snakes after the spider room? That's like one over. Why would you do that? And then, uh, walk through here. I'm not really too sure where, where exactly to go. I know places I can wander around. Um, and we've probably got a bunch of places that just don't have enemies, because I haven't particularly taken out all of them. Still got no clue where the square, like, lever goes. It's, it was the... Actually, unless the square lever was the one I just found, and the hexagonal lever is the one that I've... Like, been carrying the entire time, and just put back into... Hi there, I forgot! I'm gonna say they're goners! I'm gonna actually say they're goners! I don't wanna go back there, if there's guys. But then there's the generator. But I don't- I don't know what to power the generator with. Um... Listen, I'll wander around for a, another five minutes and call it... See, I can't think of anywhere else in the... the mansion to go. There's the- the tiger statue, which I still think I need a red or a pink gem of some kind. It's definitely that, but I can't recall much of this, this room. And I know it was only last week, but it, it's like, the mansion was a lot more iconic for me. And I also got real stuck wandering around it for a while. Whereas this, it's like, where do you go? I don't think there was really anything in the rooms. This room, maybe? The spider room. This is the only one I can really think of where there's things that I didn't 100% interact with. Like, yeah, there's the spider. There's two of them. There's this, like, eight ball puzzle over here. It looks like a clock dial, three, four, five, some kind of code. No idea what, what the code even is. Hi there, spider. How you doing? Do I just take him out? Can I take him out? Oh, cool. He's a quick boy, I'll tell you that. Oh, if there's one thing I hate about spiders is when they roll over on their backs and get all wriggly and then they like curl up like that. Ugh. It's not fun. I don't like spiders doing that. At least that don't take too much, but he's- is he coming? Are you coming? Is he even dead? Oh, he is dead, because I'm walking through him. Oh, so he's on his back and doing that, so... What kind of spider isn't dead when you do that, you know? Is he coming? Is he coming? There he is. Took his time. There you go, double spiders dead on the same mark here. Now I can mosey around this room in peace. Is there anything I really miss? It feels like there's just a puzzle. I've just yet to really understand. But I'm press I'm mashing X. I ain't experiencing anything anywhere in this room. It's just a room. <laughs> a bizarre room that never even had anything in it. Other than this billiard puzzle. There's a three ball. Like why why am I able to interact with the three ball? 
with the the nine ball and the four ball over here, isn't it? It's the four or six ball. Sorry. Like, I don't really understand that. Uh, and I guess just to break down the rest of the the place, if I can try and guess off the map. Um, so the the tiny room on the right is a restroom. It w goes into a corridor. The corridor leads into uh, the kind of bigger area there on the right, which leads into one like uh, I guess tiny little room with the um, the chemicals, which I've still yet to figure out. Uh, guest room, and then where the boss was. Downstairs was literally just a just a test chamber room. I don't recall anywhere where you put in anything. But I don't recall anywhere where you put in anything in the mansion. And the mansion is where all the stuff is. But also, the mansion has a basement. And the basement has a locked door. So, maybe I'll put it to rest. I'll put it to rest. Uh, <laughs> well, we'll, well, we'll sleep on it. We'll come back to it with a refreshed memory. Or just me watching back through my old streams just to, like, double check, like, what were the things I saw? But I'm definitely, I'm definitely getting there. There's a lot more progress than I expected. Uh, or at least, it, <laughs> pretty much after the first hour, I was just like, just trial and error. And then once I didn't have to fight the, the huggers anymore, it got a bit better. It got a lot smoother. I like how I didn't even die on the spider. The big spider, I'm just like, oh look, it's a big spider, I'm gonna run around and... Okay, and I'm just gonna hit him a few times with a shotgun and we do it, so... Cool as. Uh, anyways, with that, I would like to thank you so very, very, very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, if you enjoyed me really having no idea what I'm doing, um, you can feel free to follow here, or subscribe on YouTube if you miss bits of it and the VOD disappears from Twitch because it does that after a week. It's there on YouTube, and it'll be there on YouTube very soon. Or you're on YouTube, and in which case, it's on YouTube pretty quickly already. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm on... I've got my own activity pub, if you want to follow me there, or Twitter, if you're normal like that, I guess. Uh, so that's all good. Um, but other than that, like... Yeah, I'm definitely enjoying this. Uh, I guess it's the end of uh, October next week, October 31st. So at that point, I hope I legitimately beat this game then. Uh, that would be a cool ending. And if not, well, that will be unfortunate, but we'll see how we go until then. So until then, eat your greens. Don't stay up too late. Uh, look both ways before crossing the road. Uh, and watch out for the huggers. They keep coming up at you, apparently. <laughs>